What's up guys and welcome to Weaver's Fly Workshop. Today we are going to tie... It's going to be the first hitch tube that we are going to put on the channel, but this is a little different hitch tube than the normal ones that you may be used to. Mikael Janssen, this is a fly which I saw by Mikael Janssen just on his uh, Facebook page. This is like a very interesting, uh, inter in interesting build of a fly. But to start with, we have to prepare the tube. I already done the one which is on the needle, but this is the method I'm using. I'm using the blue part of the flame of the lighter just to give it a little, you know, touch on the end so it's gonna wrap up like this so the thread is not gonna fall off the head. That's basically the, uh, the strategy with this uh, trick. And... Uh, since it's a hitch tube, we have to put a hole on the side of the tube, and we were we, we will do that with a hot needle, not now, but in the end. And uh, then the uh, tippet goes through the hole, so the fly is not straight in the water, it's uh, leaning to the side a little bit, which means it's going to leave like this mark on the water when you lift your rod and it's going to float kind of that's what the, what the hitch is about and the hitch is um, like the next generation of the portland fishing technique where you just put a knot do a couple of knots on on the over the head of the head of your fly to make it interact in water but this tube i'm tying i'm gonna put a silver body on it and uh, this silver body is just made out of uh, silver tinsel. I'm using an uni tinsel for this one. And since it's a uh, head tube, we must not go all the way back with the, um, with the silver, just like this, not further back than this. So it just has like a hint of, hint of silver. And then we'll be wrapping the silver forward towards to the head of the fly and then we are going to grab it with our thread there and lock it down securely something like that and that's the body of the fly then the length of the tube is something which uh, is different from just from angler to angler how they prefer to how long they prefer to the, prefer the tube to be the thread I'm using that's a black that's a black 80 uni, like almost always. But there are sometimes uh, threads which I'm, yeah, which are like flat threads which are better for some other types of flies. Uh, the wing of the fly that's a black squirrel, and the wing goes like yeah, like slightly longer than the, than the length than the tube itself it is. So. Um, we need to trim down the wing to the correct length and I've done that and uh, before we go on I'm going to place like a little head cement just varnish on the uh, end of the squirrel hair simply to keep it in place and if you do that with your squirrel it's going to just change your life almost it's going to make a big big difference then we wrap that down tightly on the tube. Uh, just as the tube is now, it will fish definitely with those color combination. But uh, we're going to add a little bonus on the tube. Uh, since it's a riffle hitch uh, tube, which I saw on Mikael Jens's uh, page on Facebook, uh, we are going to add a little piece of foam on it as well and we are going to add like a yellow foam so it helps as well to kind of drag attention to the fly in the water or just on the surface while it's skating on the surface and it's gonna as well of course gonna keep the uh, and increase the buoyancy of the fly so we take a couple of wraps and it's a yellow foam it's just an a4 sized foam 
page I got and uh, you can buy those in yeah, bookstores and some other places as well. Maybe your local local supermarket has it. Then we are going to snip off like so. And what we have to be aware of when we are working with the foam, like in this case for an example, we must not put too much pressure on the thread because if you have like a yeah eight o thread, the eight o thread can easily cut through the foam. So if you do it too hard in the very beginning or too tight wraps, it's gonna it may cut the foam into pieces, and that's something which we do not want. Some people would suggest them to use a thicker thread, like a 6 o or like a 140 deniers. Just only if you're careful with it like I'm doing, it's gonna be just fine. So then th there is a foam already in place and the wing is already, already in place there as well. Now I'm gonna take this needle and put it in between my hackle pliers. Uh, one way to do this is simply to put this needle just uh, in the vise, basically, and heat it up in the vise, and it's stable, so maybe that's a better idea. But I'm gonna do it freehand here for you guys to show how, show you guys how good that good I am at this. But uh, I'm using those hackle pliers just to hold the tube, so I'm not holding it with my bare hands or bare fingers gonna hold it like like so then I'm going to uh, heat up the other needle not this needle which is in the vise right now but this uh, sewing 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 needle here which I placed in my placed in my hackle pliers and we need to warm, warm up just the very tip of the needle until it gets like yeah starts to glow red color and you don't want to be holding the needle while you do that because not only the tip, tip of the needle gets warm all the needle can get warm and then you just place it and penetrate the tube with it and since it's hot it's gonna melt right in uh, notice to that this hole on the tube it's maybe I don't know a millimeter or a couple of millimeters a little bit too far back I know that but uh, it's gonna work anyway but uh, I would suggest when you guys do that is to do the hole like a little bit uh, a little bit further front but it's gonna it's gonna be okay it's gonna work then I'm gonna take my take my knife and just uh, cut off the remaining pieces which like this melted piece uh, just to keep it kind of clean and uh, when we are done with that the tube is basically ready of course you have to remember to put warnings on the head of the fly at least on the knot UV glue can do the job as well but some some varnishes may damage the foam, so maybe a UV resin is uh, is the answer to to that. And uh, there's a hole on the tube which you stick your thread, not the thread, but the uh, tippet of the fly line into, tie it to your hook, treble one or single or double or treble hook, and then you start hitch hitch fly fishing with it. And there it is, the uh, Riffle Hitch by Mikael Janssen. It's a really cool fly, and I, I bet it works. And for more content like this, I just want to ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments below if there is something that you like me to tie. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.